over at the Donetsk front. So this is a uh, Donetsk city, and uh, so th this is the Donetsk front. At the Donetsk front, uh, there is multiple reports of Russian attacks, and the Russians are very, very, very active, particularly in the Velika Novoselka sector over here. The Russians are attacking over at Levatny, uh, north, uh, south of Novodarevka, at the Prione region, at the at Rufnopil, at Staromayoske, and Uruzaini. And uh, if you look like this, it looks like a lot of activities. It not. I'm not sure if this is just a diversion. Or is this going to lead to some very major offensive over at this uh, sector over here in the Velikan Nova Silka sector? The Russians are also attacking at Shchenko, which leads to some kind of front, some kind of front line change. There is some uh, fire mission at Voleda, uh, attack towards Vodian. There is continued fighting at the Battle of Novo Mihailivka, at the Battle of Georgivka, as well as Battle of Krasnohorivka. Ukrainian forces are counter attacking over at uh, Novo Mihailivka. They are attacking Volodymyrivka as well. And uh, so this is the at entire strategic situation over at the Donetsk front. And um, so the, the the situation, like I mentioned, looks like the Russians are really spreading out their attacks again. And uh, so just for those that did not watch previous reps, uh, it looks like they are trying to stretch the Ukrainian uh, logistics again and make the U Ukrainians guess where the main attack is going to come. So, and uh, if they don't defend all the spots, Russian breakthrough, then that breakthrough is going to become the main attack. So, so it's going to be a very difficult choice for the Ukrainians. And other than that, there are multiple geo locations. Uh, basically, it's just uh, usually Lancet attacks over in the area of Volekan Novosilka. Another airstrike reported at Rifnopil. At uh, Kontentinivka, there is an FPV attack. And uh, so, uh, so the Russians are constantly, you know, looking for targets as well over this front line. So very, very uh, painful. Uh, for the Ukrainians, and not just that, there is airstrikes constantly hitting Krasnohorivka because this is where one of the main push is coming from the south towards uh, Krasnohorivka. So the Battle of Krasnohorivka attracted massive airstrikes, particularly against all these uh, industrial buildings where the Ukrainians can use it as a castle or fortress. And um, based on the experience that the Russians had uh, at Edievka, this kind of airstrike is extremely extremely effective against discouraging the Ukrainians from entrenching at these high-rise buildings. So if you go to Adyevka, uh, you would remember this citadel region and uh, all these high-rise buildings was targets uh, of the, Uk the of the Russian Air Force, the TOS-1As, artillery strike, Grets. So all kind of uh, long-range uh, tactical weapons and this entire area was bombed to the point where the Ukrainians don't even dare to use it as a fortress. So we are probably seeing the exact same uh, situation unfolding over at Krasnohorivka with the Russians conducting all these massive strikes against all these high-rise buildings. So and, um, that's all from the uh, Donetsk front. Over at, this, uh, at the Adyavka front, uh, far off on the western part of Porops, uh, Pokrov, there was an Iskandar strike. And uh, this Iskandar strike hit a convoy of surface to air missile systems. And uh, so this, this massive explosion, as you can see on the footage, uh, is a secondary explosion from the explosion of the fuel and uh, the explosive on the missiles. And, um, and there is some contradiction uh, in terms of the reports. So based on the initial video footage and based on the original channel that is reporting about this attack they call they they claim that the this convoy is actually s300s so however uh Raiba, the pro-russian uh, source uh based on the wreck the wreckage they claim that this is not s300 they see they say that this is actually high mass so uh, not high mass sorry uh this is actually a uh, patriot missiles so uh, and uh, they they use uh, some pictures of the Patriots that is uh, from I think from Germany or uh, from my memory so and uh, to and a vehicle the truck that is carrying the missile they say that the, the out the shape the, the, the shape of this uh, cabin looks the same as the one that is carrying a Patriot missile so yeah there is some contradiction there but uh, more importantly for me I don't care it's a Patriot or S300 for me they are both very effective surface to air missile system is that Yet another surface to air missile system was destroyed, further 
no making the case where the Russians have a lot of Sukhoi 34 getting shot down as claimed by the Ukrainian uh, Air Force seems to be you no know, have its uh, accuracy and this also reconfirms uh, my my uh, hypothesis that the Ukrainians have pulled a lot of air, air defense systems to the eastern Ukraine to help out uh, with the defense and uh, the Russians knowing that you no know, the the increase of surface to air missile system by the Ukrainian side in the eastern Ukraine have been actively hunting for them and uh, this is probably as a result the destruction of this uh, another system it's interesting this this uh, surface to air missile system is not deployed so they are in a convoy sitting beside the tree line at Serhi uh, at the Sergeyevka so I believe this this might be a lucky find from from the Russians uh, drones.